Under the umbrella of data science, there are many things which are growing at a very fast pace. Some of these areas get attention and some of these areas don't get much attention. There is one such area of synthetic data generation or artificial data generation that is growing at a rate of 34% year on year roughly. Okay? There are organizations which are working only on this objective. So they specialize in producing synthetic data. That is the kind of need and requirement for synthetic data. No matter you are a researcher, you are a seasoned data scientist or you are new to data science, you always need some synthetic data which resembles with the real data to do your prototyping, to do your proof of concept, to do your research, right? In this video, I am going to show you five different ways in Python through which you can generate your synthetic data and use it just like you use any normal real data. Let's get into that guys. So guys, let's go to Python directly and try to see how we can generate synthetic data using five different techniques. Okay. And the end, I'm going to show you one bonus technique as well. So first of all, the simple way, the first way is sklearns direct make something. Okay. I'm saying make underscore something because in sklearn, you can generate data for classification. You can generate data for regression. You can generate for some S curve and many other things. Okay. Uh, the common syntax for that is you can say like this make classification and you can give X and Y like this number of samples, whatever you want, number of features, whatever you want, number of informatives is something like uh, how your features will look like. So if you go to make classification definition, you will find something like number of features here in the parameter. Okay. So if you see here, number of features, number of informative, right? So in number of informative, you will see each class is composed of number of Gaussian cluster. So some characteristics of your data. Okay. Once you do that, and then you put Y into a target data frame, you will see something like this. So I have given, I want 10 columns. If you see here, I have given, I want number of features, 10, number of informatives, five, number of classes, three. Okay. So how many samples I want? I want 50 samples. So you can see here, 10 features and a target is given to me. There are three different types of, you know, um, categories in this zero, one and two. Okay. So this is a very simple way of generating data using SQL and make underscore something. You can create make underscore regression like this same way. You can give how many features you want, what data you want, and you can generate your data like this. So this is a regression data set. Okay. So I strongly recommend you to go to SQL and documentation here because in the in the SQL and documentation in the sample generator right you will see make blobs make circles make gaussian quantiles make learning matrix and many other things okay make s curve whatever you want to make you can simply make it this is a quick uh, synthetic data that, that you can use for your demo purposes and other purposes okay now let's move on to the second thing which is quite interesting known as faker okay so this is a Python package, a Python, uh, you can say library. Okay. From Faker, uh, you have to install this Faker. Okay. And then you can import Faker. From Faker, what you can do is you can randomly generate some names, addresses, etc. For example, if you say Faker.name, one name is given. Faker.address, one address is given. Faker.street address, one street address is given. Okay. And same way, what I'm doing is I'm generating different columns in a data frame here, if you see. So I'm saying 100 times I'm saying name, fake dot name, address, fake dot address, then birthday, then email, and then um, address. Okay, so two times I think I have put address. That's fine. This would be actually email. Uh, and anyway, so we can we can generate like that. Okay, so if I run this right, then you will see something like this. So in the name column, you will have multiple names. In the address column, you have address, then birthday, then email. And whatever you want to have, right? So there are many things you can have in the Faker. So let's let's come here to the Faker documentation. I have opened the documentation of Faker here. You will see welcome to Faker documentation. And in this one, what all you can do, right? Faker address, then name, then provides. Many things are there. You can, I, I again, you know, request you to go through the documentation and use it like the way you want to use for your for your own purpose, right? So here, for example, there are some dynamic providers, right? So provider name is medical professional elements are this and then you can generate medical professional. So you can use, you know, uh, either as a base package or a label on top of that. So if you if you see this guys faker data is generated, but it is not very meaningful. For example, uh, this Thomas guy email ID looks quite different. 
okay this uh, joseph guy email id will look different okay so this is fine but uh, anyway this is a synthetic data right we we use it for uh, not not real world problems right so this is for a prototyping or those kind of things hence faker will help you in that very useful package very important package next i want to show you something known as pyod library okay so this is known as python outlier detection generation package so what this package does is let me show you the documentation of this package once what it will do is it will give you some data with outliers okay so for example this is pyod documentation okay and if you come to pyod right you will see pyod is the most comprehensive and scalable python library for detecting outlying objects not detecting it can generate for you as well and this exciting gate tagging field is completely referred outlier detection or anomaly detection. So suppose you are working on some anomaly detection use case, you want some outliers in your data. What you can do is you can use PyOD. How? Let me show you the sample code here. So you will install this package obviously. And then you can say number of train is equal to 40. So I want 40 data points. Contamination is equal to 0 0.05 means 5% 5 of my data should be outliers. I want two features. I want train only and I want random seed one. Okay. And I'm generating X and Y two things. So Y will store if that data is an outlier, X will store two, two features. Okay. Because I'm asking for two features here. So what I'm doing, I'm creating Y as one of the column in X itself. And then I'm plotting this. If you see here, I'm plotting this. Okay, so on X axis, you are seeing the first column of my data on Y axis, second column of my data and the colors you are seeing, right? Is anomaly is like which data point is anomaly. So two, two points are anomalies here. That is the reason you can see these two orange points far from rest of the observation. So what I have done here, I have generated 40 data points out of which 5% is anomaly. And those, what is the 40%, 5% of 40, that will be two. So two data points are anomalies. Sorry for the interruption, guys. Just one request. If you like the content from Unfold Data Science, please share in at least one group, either on WhatsApp or LinkedIn or Telegram and tell two people they can also come and take benefit from these videos. Let's go back to the video, guys. Now let's go ahead and see something more meaningful, something more logical. And that is where there is one package called CTGAN, okay? And if you if you come to the documentation of CTGAN, right? So this is the one I have opened. This is a collection of deep learning based synthetic data generators for single table data, which are able to learn from real world and generating synthetic, synthetic data with high fidelity. So what it does is, suppose you have some data, okay? And you want to generate similar data like that data. So that is where it will help you. And it will take help of your uh, categorical columns from your data. For example, in the iris data set, you have the petal length, petal width, sepal length, sepal width, and then the category class of flower, right? So you will say, this is my class of flower is my feature column. Based on this, can you generate 10,000 more samples of sepal length, sepal length, petal length, and petal width, okay? That is what it does. It is a basically deep learning synthetic data generator. So if I come here, I want to show you one example here. Obviously, you will need that package. So what's happening here is real data is a load demo. So there is a demo data set that we have. And if I want to show you real data, right? This is how real data looks like. So age, work class, education, education number. Some of these columns are categorical and some of these columns are numerical, okay? So if you can see some columns are categorical and some are numerical. What we need to say to this model is, hey, these are my categorical columns. So we come here and say, these are my discrete columns, okay? Once we say that, then we say this is my real data and these are my discrete columns. So I have a real data. In that real data, I have some discrete columns. So if you say this is my real data and these are my discrete columns, then a model will get fit, CTGAN model. Once the model is fit, using this model, you can generate as many samples as you want. This is my iris data set, okay? In iris data set, I have categorical features, only one categorical feature, right? That is species of the flower. I'm saying, hey, iris is my data. Categorical feature is species. That is only one feature. Can you generate 10,000 samples for me? So it has generated, if you can see, it has generated. I am printing 20 samples here. It is actually 10,000 records. I'm printing 20 samples here. So what's happening here? From your actual data, you are telling these are my categorical columns. Based on these columns, generate more synthetic data. And that is what you are getting here. You can generate as many as you want. 
and you can take a sample from that as many as you want okay so this is more meaningful generation this is not some random generation more meaningful generation okay this is again a python package you need to install and it will give you all these things different different categories in all these things okay for example in address it can give you different types of address in date time different types in file different types in food different types for example i have said here fake dot food dot drink okay so in food i want a um, i want a drink so it is telling me derby okay and in food i can ask something else as well so this is your it will suggest you what all you can ask so i i'm asking dish okay so let's see what it gives stick and kidney puffing okay so this way you can generate different uh, in all all these categories right for example person path local internet you can generate different different inputs so if you see the documentation of mmsc here right so full name 10k full names then what does name mean many things are here okay it's a huge documentation you can just go ahead and read this documentation as well okay and if we go back to our python thing here I'm generating data from Faker here. If you see same way like we were generating from, uh, sorry, Mimesis, same way we were generating from Faker. And here you can choose language of your choice. For example, I'm not choosing Spanish. I'm choosing UK English here, okay? UK English and ENGB, if you say that is UK English, you can choose any other thing as well. For example, CSDA, all will have its different names. You can select for whichever you want and accordingly it will give you name, country, birthday, email address, whatever you, you need. So I'm generating for UK. So I'm getting country as United Kingdom and I'm getting some email. I'm getting some kind of address which looks like a real address, but it is not. Okay. Because it's a fake data. Okay. And this is more sophisticated built on top of faker. That is uh, that is more wider. That is more rich. Okay. So faker and mimesis is kind of on the same lines, just that Mimesis, Mimesis is richer. But if some of you, you are interested in image generation, then please have a look at TensorFlow image data generator as well. So this will help you to generate image data synthetically. Okay. So these were the five, six ways of, you know, generating data synthetically guys. And I'm sure it will help you a lot in whatever you are doing in data science. Okay. So please give me a thumbs up if you like this video guys. See you all in the next video, wherever you are, stay safe and take care.